The form helper is a great shortcut for quickly building forms. Instead of writing raw HTML, I can greatly simplify the view by using the form helper functions to generate the markup. The form helper functions return HTML, so they should be used in the view, not in the controller. I will have to load the helper from the controller. I'm going to switch back to NetBeans and go to the add method if I'm not already there and add the method to load the form helper. So this load helper form. Save the controller, then open the magazine form. The first line echoing the validation errors is good, so let's leave that alone. However, I'm sorry to say that everything else is going to get replaced. It's good to have perspective to know that there's more than one way to perform a task. I'm going to start with a new form using the function form open. PHP echo form open. I have the ability to specify a particular action in attributes, but since it's posting to the same place, I can leave the action off and form open defaults to post, so there's really nothing else to do. And close the tag. We don't need the duplicate form, so remove that. Next, the label for publication name. Surely there's a better way? Yes, there is, using the echo form label. PHP echo form label. It takes two arguments, the human readable name and the identifier, publication ID. And close the tag. Select lists are referred to as drop downs within CodeIgniter, which is a little funny. PHP echo form drop down, which just takes the form element name, publication ID, followed by an array of option labels keyed by value just as I did before. So publication, form, options. The third argument is the default value. I'm going to use another form helper called set value, which grabs a value from the post array. Great for failed form submissions. So set value, and then the key publication ID. And close that out. I'll completely remove the redundant HTML content, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines of code that have been saved. Next, I'll replace the label for the issue number. PHP echo form label issue number, followed by the identifier issue number. And close the tag. I'll use form input, which defaults the text input for the issue number. PHP echo form input. The first argument takes the form element name, which is issue number. And the second is the default value. I'll use set value again, passing it issue number to populate it on failed submissions. Close out the PHP tag and remove the unnecessary HTML. I'll do something very similar for the issue date publication. and date published, replace the label, and remove the unnecessary HTML. The last element will be the submit button, which will use form submit. PHP echo form submit, save with the label, save, semicolon, and close the PHP tag. I'll close the form with PHP echo form close and save the view. Doesn't this look a lot cleaner? Rather than a mix of loops and hard-coded HTML, there's some clean HTML for designer to do their magic to, and some simple PHP function calls. Go back to the browser, and go to the add form, and intentionally fail validation by submitting issue number kitty. This time, the default value is set. Very cool. Let's kick things up a notch with the ability to upload cover images.